welcome back to Meet the Authors. So glad you could invite us in. We're going to start today's show with Carol Thomas. Carol, welcome to the show. Thank you for inviting me. You're so, so welcome. And you're here to talk about your poetry book, Soulful yes, Observations. Hold up the camera, let's have a look at this. Soulful Observations. Tell us about your book. Well, um, this is a collection of poetry which I found throughout all my journals of the past many, many years. And um, every once in a while, I go through my journals and I start tearing things out. Mm -hmm. And uh, because mostly, you know, you write journals just to get out feelings. So I uh, found a lot of poetry there, and I just kept tearing it out and tearing it out and tearing it out. And all of a sudden, there was quite a bit. Uh, so I decided, you know, well, my mother always told me to begin with, you know, she said, why don't you write a book? Uh -huh. And so after my mother died, I thought that, you know what, maybe I should write a book. And so you put your poems together. I did, and I, I got about 40 of them together, and um, because that was the least you could put in a book. Mm -hmm. And so I says, well, yeah, let me do 40 of them and, you know, see how that works out. And I've also dedicated this book to my mother as well, who lived to the age of 91. How wonderful. Yes, it was wonderful. Was she a writer too? No, my mother was not a writer. She no. was not a writer. But we do have artistic people in my family. You know, my father was an artist, my sister's an artist. And um, so I thought that, you know, maybe that's where I got a little bit of my artistic flair as well. Good for you. I think everybody has a little bit of artistic flair within them. It's a, it's a matter of, of getting that out and taking the time to express yourself. And poetry is a good way to do it. You could just, like you say, do some journaling and get it together. So I'd love to hear some of your poetry. You want to read us a poem? Sure. This is a poetry uh, I had inspiration for because of all the horrible things that are going on in the world, the wars and such. So this one is called Fear Versus Freedom. Now, is this the one that won the, the recently won an award? You told me one recently won an award. No, this is not the one. Okay. I, I could read that on second if you want. All like. right, well, let's hear about Fear of the World. Fear Versus Freedom. Monsters of the world who keep us in fear. We cannot sing, we cannot dance afraid to take a chance to speak our hearts. The fearful veil upon our hearts must be swept away. The freedom of our souls must be released so we can love and do and say. Create a world of peace, live at our own pace. It's what the earth is for. Enjoying fellowship with our fellow man, live, explore, so that our minds can expand. Freedom is a luxury not to be ignored and taking it away makes the world cold. It takes away the brightness even in the day. It makes the nights longer, for fear never goes away. I am of this earth, monster, step aside and let my voice be heard around the world, so that I may live in peace, not by your sword. Very dramatic, how nice, very, very good thoughts. I like the concept and how important it is for all of us to realize how important freedom is for us. Yes, absolutely. We live in a, we live in a country that has a lot of freedoms and yet, you know, no place is entirely free. You can't walk into a theater and yell fire. For exactly. Example. So there's exactly. always re restrictions. But I feel sometimes we're having more restrictions on our freedom as time goes on. Do you get that feeling? Sometimes I do, yes. Especially, you know, when people start questioning the Bill of Rights and, you know, and what we can do and so on and so forth. And sometimes when I watch TV, I absolutely get depressed and it's very sad. It's just so sad that the world really does not have, you know, a lot of spirituality and a lot of love because in, in reality that's really what makes the world go round. It's an old cliche, but to me that's what makes the world go round, loving and giving and caring, you know, about people. And your poetry book is full of poems with that theme. I think that's really remarkable. A very nice thing. I think everybody should to try to write poetry and read poetry, but get inspired and, and it settles you down. So instead of spending yes. all this time playing nasty video games or watching violent TV, pick up a poetry book. That's really nice. You're going to read another one for us. This is the one yes. that won an award. Tell us about the award. Well, this one was from Lone Star International Publication, mm -hmm. and they're out of San Antonio, Texas. And um, I sent in five poems, and they chose this poem to, um, it was the winner. Oh, so great. that's, you know, it was the winner. So I was really happy and I was surprised about it. But um, I think the poem really says a lot for um, spirituality and uh, what we feel inside and what we can do with okay, ourselves. Okay, what's the title of this one? This is called, When Angels Fan Their Wings. Okay. 
When angels fan their wings, celestial music can be heard. It moves with the rhythm of love through our soul. It fills our hearts with good intentions and delivers them into the world. This heavenly blessing is bestowed upon us by God, who is the universe and that speck of light that allows of himself to be passed through our souls. So hear the music and welcome the angels by your side. Regale in the beauty of the moment. Regale in the beauty of the moment. That's so yes. important. We, we have to live in the moment. I mean, it's so important to recognize that uh, there's tomorrow and there's yesterday, but this is the experience we have now. Right. I think if a lot of us um, would live in the moment, in the here and now, then maybe the world would be a better place and, and maybe you would be a better person, the person mm -hmm. who, who does that. Yeah, be aware of your things. Now you've been, uh, you grew up in a farm in Ohio, I heard, a small town. Yes, actually I grew up in a very small town and living in the country uh -huh. and yes, there were farm animals mm -hmm. and uh, gardens and... So it, back to nature that way. Exactly. If it didn't come off a tree or um, from the ground, you know, basically or chicken, mm -hmm. you know that's what that's what we ate. Yeah, we, well, we didn't have pa you didn't have packaged ding dongs <laughs> and things like that. Huh? No. no, not really. <laughs> Everything was pretty much handmade. <laughs> and you still now, uh, I've I've been out to your little place now that uh, you and Tanus have. It's what 13 acres. Yes, we have 13 and a half acres in Socia in the um, um, area of. Um, well, it's in Socia. I'll just yeah. put it that way. Yeah, it's in Socia. And a wonderful. For every time I go there, I love it because uh, Tanus gives me this big basket of vegetables to take home. Yeah. Huge cucumbers and uh, all these. He's a great cook. He's got these things canned. The sauces, special sauces. He does. A lot, <laughs> he does a lot of uh, a lot of canning. Mm -hmm. uh, and now he and now we make wine. Oh yeah, yeah. So yeah flavored wine, the fruit wine, blueberry wine, yes. and they're really tasty. Yes. I like that stuff. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. He'll, he'll. I'll be sure to tell him that he'll like that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, you're, uh, you're writing again? You're still writing poetry? I am. And you're going to publish another book, you think? I would hope to, yes. I'm, I'm thinking about it. Uh -huh. And um, when I get poems that, um, a lot of times I'll write a poem and in my journals, and then I forget about it because uh. it's in the moment. It's whatever I'm writing about or whatever I'm seeing or whatever I'm feeling. And then uh, there's a lot of times where I don't finish it. Hmm. And then um, I'll be doing something else, and all of a sudden I'll be thinking, well, you know, let me go look at that poem again. And it may be a year, it may be two years, I don't know. And I'll look, the, look it back up again, and then I'll, I'll add to it, or I'll take away from it um, to, you know, to, to get the right feel and the right feeling you know, for it. But mostly all these poems come from a journal uh -huh. on how I'm feeling and um, how the world is feeling or something that I may see on TV, any kind of observation close to nature. And I can say that it's wonderful living in the country because it's peaceful and quiet and you can actually hear the birds and see the squirrels and the deers, you know, come into the yard. And, and to me, that's inspiration. It's, it's a lot of inspiration. Oh, wonderful. Did you ever get any training in writing? Were you ever Cool. Well, I did take some courses in writing at uh, Youngstown State University when I attended there um, many, many years ago. And, um, and that's probably about all because I've been writing since I've been 13 years old. I started writing uh, um, song lyrics just for the fun of it, uh -huh. you know, to impress my little school people and you know when there's a bebop song all you know and I see you know I could write one like that you know and then you try doing it and then you show your friends and they go oh this is really good we should put music to it but at 13 who do you know yeah, yeah. you know to, to do that <laughs> so I've actually been um, getting a, together a lot of lyrics as well and just putting them in a pile and hopefully someday really I cool. may meet a composer who might go through them with me and um, you never know there may be something in there that um, that would um, uh, fancy a, a proposal, you know. So where can people get your book? Show it to the camera again. My book is online and it's published by Ex Libris. And uh, although it, uh, it's also online with Barnes & Noble, uh, if you go to C.R. Thomas, uh, Sofo uh, Observations, you can actually come up with a lot of, there's a lot of websites that carry the book. And it's different price and also ebook as well. 
So great. I'm so glad you come on the show, Carol. You're my friend, and it's a pleasure. Poet, and uh, pleasure. great poetry books. So we're gonna uh, uh, glad to have you on the show. So stay tuned. After this uh, break, we'll be back, and we have uh, Willie Dennis Jr., who is very prolific with his poetry and sci-fi, and has some great stories to tell. So um, we'll be right back with our uh, our next guest. Stay tuned on Meet the Authors. Southern Bound Books at 1015 Howard Avenue in Biloxi is the place to go for new and used books. With an inventory of over 5,000 volumes, shoppers will find true treasures buried in the stacks. Shereen Kostmeyer opened the store five years ago with over 80% used books, including vintage and old collectibles. She features local authors as well. Drop by and relive old memories. Open 11 to 5.30. Monday through Saturday. <music> 